again, and uh, we were having a robust conversation. Things are starting to smell really good, and so I'm getting starting to get hungry. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's good to sit here with you guys as we get ready for Thanksgiving, and um, uh, thank you for having me in your living room. I really appreciate that, and it's been a pleasure. Um, so last we talked, last segment, we talked a little bit about the process and where you are in the recruiting process and how you're feeling about next level and that kind of thing, which I think is just absolutely incredible that you've gone through it. Uh, not quite done, but you're, you're getting there. You've gone through a major part of it and made some decisions. Yeah. Now you got your brother coming along, okay? And now it's, now it's your turn, young mm -hmm. fellow, okay? It's your time to come up. And, and I want to know from you, you haven't had a chance to talk a whole lot about things, but you're at obviously a high profile place, modern day, mm -hmm. which, you know, I, you, I went to Servite, so this is hard for me to talk about, but I'm being fair, am I not? I've only brought up Servite once. I, got you. I can't bring him up too much because we haven't beat you in a long time, mm -hmm. but I did wear my black. <laughs> <laughs> Anyhow, I love you guys. I've known you guys for a long time. I know the program very well, uh, but you've got a chance to be on a national spotlight. That's, that's just incredible. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about what expectations you have for yourself as you get prepared to have hopefully the same experiences, if not more. As a, as a younger brother, you probably want him to have as much, if not right. more, right? right, than you've had. So what are your thoughts? How do you feel about all the hearing all this, the rankings, the process, mm -hmm. youth ball, this, that? How are you feeling about where you're at, and what do you think you'd have to get done in order to be at that same level as your brother is? Being able to see my brother do what he do, mm -hmm. and be able to be like at the level he is. Mm -hmm. um, seeing him go to all the camps and compete in all those camps. Yeah. And to see how, how he does what he do. Okay. And um and yeah, um being able to be behind Brew and see what True. Being him being the number one athlete in yeah. twenty nineteen. Yeah. Um And you're you're at a <laughs> at modern day, I mean you're going up against guys that are as good as they get in the country. Elias Hicks, I mean you have to go up against mm -hmm. him. Yes. Right? You have yes. to learn how to beat him mm -hmm. and you get to compete against what's that like? How does that how does that work for you as a player? Man, in your a, development, he, he's a good player. You and know, every practice, times. yeah, we compete. We compete. Times. Good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. we compete at practice. Good. Makes okay. me a lot better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you had a heck of a game last week. Yes, sir. You sure did. So yeah. I, I think that's tremendous. The experience that you're getting just alone is is invaluable. Plus, you have the, you know, you can knock that up against what your brother's going through, and you've got a great family to back you up as well too. And the mm -hmm. sophomore year is always tough. Sophomore year is talk yeah. about yeah. your sophomore mm -hmm. year. How? It, is sophomore year, what's that like in sophomore year, you kinda, are you kind of buried? How, how do you feel in your sophomore year, is it? Well, so, sophomore yeah. year, this is my first year playing receiver. Yeah. So last year I was playing strong safety. Uh -huh. And being able to like, especially in high school, offensive side, it's, it's hard, the plays are hard. Mm -hmm. And so my sophomore year, I've just been learning the plays mm -hmm. and um, just been studying, especially throwing with Bryce. It's yeah. a lot different, so yeah, that's a cool point. A little different on the opposite side of the ball because mm -hmm. it's a lot more strategic, is it not? Yeah. Defense, you can let loose a little yeah. bit. Is there is there a side of the ball that you prefer one over the other, or are you good with either side of the ball? Or what, where would you like to play in college um, if you had to make a choice? If I had to make a choice? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I'll outside, do. yeah outside I reckon probably. Yep, okay. That would be bad either. But you're, you're getting a tremendous – experience both you know obviously with your brother and, and where you're at at school and I think that that's invaluable okay we've talked a lot about general stuff the past the present the future all that good stuff I want to talk a little bit about the game uh, we got a little bit of time about a minute before we take a break here right. and here we got here you guys are <laughs> I gotta I gotta be I gotta be fair here you guys are again you're in a position to win another first of all southern section title mm -hmm. that's the first step Last year, you won a national title. All right. Okay, do you feel the pressure? Does it feel like you have pressure going back into a year like this after you won everything the year before? How does this year compare to last year? How do you feel about? It? Uh, there's definitely a, a a big pressure coming into this game since what happened uh, the last game. True. Um, I felt like we need to redeem ourselves and show what we had because of the game. That happened last uh, last time it wasn't really us, and I felt yeah. like we're we're all like out of our minds and yeah. didn't know what was going on. So it, it should be a big game coming up. Right, and so just let me let me just clue our audience, and they probably already know, but you you play Bosco during the regular season. It's right. a rivalry game to mm -hmm. to start with, mm -hmm. much like other schools in the Trinity League. Um, so that was a I believe what was a forty eight to. 
48, 14. 48, 14. You're not yeah. used to taking, you're not used to taking losses, period. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Especially losses like that. That doesn't happen in modern day often. So I see you wrangling your hands right there <laughs> and, and what, and I see you doing the same. So it must be, mm -hmm. it must be, you must be itching to get back out there and, and prove yourself in what is a championship game. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. So that, that comes up Friday night. We'll be there. We're looking forward to that. Uh, we're going to roll into one more break and get into one more segment and then we'll wrap it up then. But, um, uh, you know, you guys have been awesome. Take a little break here and go to a quick commercial and then we'll be right back.